Welcome to day one of our 12-day series featuring local makers and creatives here in Milton. It's our 12 days of giveaways. Today, I'm here with Marcy McGill of Spun Love Knits. Thanks so much for being with me today, Marcy. Oh, thank you. Thank you for featuring me. <laughs> yeah. If you haven't followed Marcy already, check out her Instagram. It's at Spun Love. Yeah. And we'll make sure that we put a link to it below. But Marcy makes gorgeous some luxury like toques and headbands and all sorts of different knitwear. So, but I'm going to let her tell you about it because she's the expert in this, right? <laughs> When did you start Spun Love? I think it's about seven years ago. I was bored <laughs> watching TV one night and I thought, I need a new hobby. What can I do that is going to be easy and I can teach myself from home? So I hit up Pinterest and I learned how to crochet using YouTube videos. Went to Quick Trip to Michael's, one hook and one ball of yarn later, <laughs> a few hours on YouTube and it just took off from there. About Two years ago, I switched to knitting, decided that I had conquered the world of crochet and knitting was going to be my thing. Again, thank you, YouTube. I hit up Michael's again for a few things of needles, some more yarn, and away I went. And now it's probably what I would say is an obsession. I knit every day before work, every night after work, <laughs> and all weekend. As you can see, <laughs> I do have a bit of a yarn obsession. It's kind of taken over my life and my guest room. I tend to favor natural fibers. So a lot of what you see here would be the things like 100% alpaca, 100% baby llama. Again, this one's a different type of alpaca. I find one, the natural fibers are tend to be more non-allergenic. For people who sort of have a reaction to something like a wool, they tend to be softer and a lot of the ones that I buy are from local yarn shops so I'll do a lot of trips all over Ontario and I, I will literally Google map where all the yarn stores are in all the small towns and head out in the car for a couple of days and away I go many dollars later and many bags full in the trunk and I end up like this but I like the fact that it supports the smaller local yarn shops and a lot of the yarns are from independent dyers all over the world and a lot of them go to supporting initiatives you know women in third world countries who can now grow the product or raise the alpacas spin the yarn themselves and sell it at local yarn stores here I so that. I feel like I'm giving a little bit back as well and it kind of sets me apart from some of the other makers just because I do like the natural fibers and they are harder to come by but it also offers me the opportunity to have a few different price points with my products as well so that I can offer the natural fibers and the same products in you know a more affordable acrylic or wool blend so there's I try to make it that there's something for everybody. Marcy, can you tell me a little bit about the types of knitwear that you make, please? Sure, of course. See, we'll start with one of my most popular is the cable hat or the cable beanie. I can do it, <laughs> I've done it in many, many colors, many different yarn types as well, and palm colors and palm styles. This particular one has been a favorite. Everybody loves black. If you're not a fan of what they call the flamingo palm, all of my palms actually snap off. Oh my gosh. There's two reasons for that, one, so that you can wash this by hand, lay it flat to dry, and then you don't ruin your palm. And two, if you are not a fan of the flamingo, you can snap on a different palm, change the total look. That's so cool. So that's one of my more popular ones there. This year, I really kind of learned from other shows and from what people are telling me, and I sort of branched out more into children's uh, knitwear. So I do offer a few different things. Like I said, I've started working with some acrylics this year. So I have something super simple like these little double brim beanies with the yarn palm. But again, I made the palm snap off so that you can throw it in the wash and not ruin your palm. I do mummy and me sets, which are quite popular these days. <laughs> this particular one is made with 100% baby alpaca. It's light as air, cozy, warm, and super cute. This year we branched out into to offering some really large scarves. These ones are a really nice wool blend, so you get a little bit of everything with this one. We do it in many different colors. One of the other things that's been super popular this year is the rainbow palm. 
I think it's pretty darn cute myself. Super puffy, super colorful. It's really fun. So I started with one of my favorites is just because it's so small, it's just the cutest thing ever, are the baby size hats with the giant palm. <laughs> Nothing cuter than seeing this on a baby. So yeah, I have like tons of different styles. I don't do just hats. <laughs> I, I do other things, although hats are clearly my favorite thing to create. I have headbands. So I have to do a few different styles. This one's done in an alpaca. We have these ones down here that are in a really nice wool blend sort of a a more plain look goes with everything washcloths of course baby booties scrunchies which I remember from my childhood which are back now <laughs> so I've got all kinds of velvet scrunchies different type of scarf this one's done in hundred percent alpaca and is just gorgeous and of course the ever popular blankets so I do have <laughs> A few super large, throw over the back of your couch, gorgeous blankets, both in knit and in crochet. I have them in many different colors. This one has 12 pom-poms on it, for those of you who are the pom-pom fans. Can you tell me about one of your most popular knitwear products? Sure. This was one of the very first hats that I ever taught myself, thankfully with a YouTube video, as I said. <laughs> I call it the Mika. It's actually named after my friend's dog. So it's been one of my consistently most popular sellers at every show I've ever done. This particular one is made with 100% superwash merino wool, although I do have it in about a dozen different colors of a blown alpaca, which is just gorgeous as well. Like everything, the palms snap off, you can change them. It's just gorgeous. Slight cabling, not as much as my other popular cable one, but it does look super great on. A lot of my hats, you may, you know, the odd thing may happen, you're gonna wanna have to wash it for whatever reason. But if you were to wash the palm, it would never be the same. So I've created with all of my palms, just a simple snap. So easy peasy, you snap it off, throw your hat in the sink with a little bit of soap, hand wash, dry flat. When you're all done, just kind of give your palm a shake again, snap it back on, and you're good to go. I love that, that's yeah. so great. Like it won't get ruined like that. So many of them are no. attached on and like, it's so hard to wash them. I love that you do that. That's yeah. so cool. Yeah, so super easy. Snap on, snap off. It also gives you the opportunity to change out your palm for a different look. Love that. <laughs> for showing us all of your awesome products. Like, I think these are so great. If people haven't, if people want to order these or they want to get in touch with you, what is the best way for them to do that? Uh, you can find me on Instagram at spunlove. You could also email me directly at spunlovenits at gmail.com. Or you can find me on Facebook at Marcy McGill. Thank you so much for watching. Go to at spunlove on Instagram, give her a follow support our local Milton creators and makers because we need them. It's so important to support local. A lot of the opportunities that they've had to have these shows and a lot of the places where they make up a lot of revenue just are not happening this year. So follow Marcy at Spunlove. Purchase some hats for her, for your family, or scarves, all of her beautiful materials. Let's really get together, Milton, support local, and have a wonderful holiday season for everyone. So Marcy is so generous. She's giving away a hat. So there's a giveaway component to this as well on our 12 days of giveaways. If you watch this video, give it a like, share it, follow Marcy at Spun Love, and then we will pick a winner at the end of our 12 days of giveaway and you will win this gorgeous hat. Do you want to show them the hat? Sure. This is one of my most popular styles. It's the cable hat or cable beanie. This one in here is made of a superwash merino and alpaca blend. It's just soft and cozy. And of course, you've got your removable palm. I love that. That's so cool. Okay, so make sure you are following Marcy at Spun Love. Make sure that you give this video a like and we'll have all the details of how you can get this gorgeous hat below in the comments. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you on the next 12 days of giveaways. Great. Thanks again, Shalom. Okay. <laughs>